Good morning, friends, and welcome to Wake Up in the Word. Thanks for joining me this morning. We're walking through the Ten Commandments. I hope you'll grab a Bible and a cup of coffee. Join me in Exodus chapter 20, and let's see what the Word of the Lord says to us today. As we're walking through these Ten Commandments, we're coming up to an interesting one today, one that's got an awful lot to do with our parents and our children, for that matter. It's down there in verse number 12, and it reads, Honor your father and your mother, so that you may live a long life in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. So this is that commandment, kids, that says, honor mom and dad. You know, as we think about that, of course, many of us, our thoughts turn to our parents. But I'd show you a picture today. I'll show you some pictures this week. Uh, this is a picture of my parents, mom and dad. This is from before I was born, early 1950s. And uh, these are my parents. And this command says you're supposed to honor your parents. So I'm looking at them. Somebody said, do you see any resemblance? Yeah, well, maybe maybe if you were to pick this picture up when they were your age and old people like you, maybe there would be a better resemblance. But that's my parents. Now, the Bible says that I'm supposed to honor them and respect them. And that if you do that, the promise was to the Hebrews it's going to allow you to live a longer life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Now, that's an important promise to take into consideration because what it's basically teaching is this idea that the wisdom passed along by your parents may one day save your life, may allow you to not suffer the consequences of making the terrible mistakes that perhaps they've made. Matter of fact, as you're teaching your children, don't you have that as a motivation? Don't you think, well, you know, here's a way I messed up when I was younger. I want to teach my children so they don't have that same pain and heartache. That should be one of the things that drives us as parents to be better teachers of our children. But when it says honor your father and your mother, it's a two-way street. By even saying that to children, there is the implication that we as parents had better be the right teachers for our kids. Now, in Western society today, we're getting this entire new philosophy, the idea that take the responsibility for children away from parents. We're going to put them in some institution, and in that institution, they'll be raised with whatever ideals are there, whether they be socialist, Marxist, militarist, whatever that might be, and they're no longer your responsibility. The state will train up your children in the way that they should go. I don't think that's the pattern the Bible sets out for us. Instead, it says, you parents, train up your children in the way that they should go. And when they're old, they won't depart from it, it says in Proverbs. When we get to the New Testament, we've got that same pattern being played out. The Apostle Paul in the book of Colossians speaks about how important it is for this pattern of God's ordained family to continue in the right way. And he does so in chapter 3 beginning in verse 20, by saying, Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Now, that's the general rule. Now, he's not talking about those times where you might say, but I've got disobedient parents who are rebelling against the Lord and are committing crimes against the state. Am I supposed to just obey them when they tell me to break the law? Of course not. You obey the higher power. But in 98% of the cases, no, I didn't do an actual statistical study on this, but in the overwhelming amount of cases, this is just about the relationship between parents and children, where those parents have the children's best interests in mind and want them to be the best they can possibly be. You should honor, respect, and obey your parents. But there's another verse here in which Paul talks about our responsibility as parents to train our children in the right way, and that's verse number 21. Fathers, do not exasperate your children so that they won't become discouraged. Yes, if you become one of those authoritarian parents that just hammers down on your kids, beats them down, makes them more a slave or a serf in your household than raising them to be the responsible adult they're supposed to be, you know, you won't be surprised if, utterly, if they utterly rebel against that kind of parenting. And so parents, we need to be careful we're raising the next generation. Will it be the kind of generation that you'll be able to trust in your elder years? Will they be the kind of adults running your community, your church, your country that you really want them to be? 
Well, if we put the right kind of effort into being godly parents, then we can expect the next generation to hopefully follow that example. Friends, honor your father and your mother. It's a great commandment. It goes both ways, though. So let's be responsible to focus on the God-given, ordained family unit and make sure ours is healthy and ours is focused first on our relationship with the Lord and then our relationship with others so that we have, until Jesus comes, the kind of healthy societies and churches that he wants us to have. Well, God bless you. We'll do this again tomorrow as we look at another of the Ten Commandments. I'll see you right here as we wake up in the Word.